Hey guys, welcome to my channel DevTech Finance and in this video I would be covering the topic Dewpoint Analysis. So let's start with the introduction. Dewpoint Analysis is done to analyze the components of return on equity i.e. the net profit margin, asset turnover and financial leverage. The higher the ROE ratio, higher would be the profitability. So dew point analysis is actually we are analyzing the return on equity. Return on equity, as we all know, is a part is one of the ratio which shows how much return the company is earning, which is left over for the equity shareholders, which is also known as net profit or profit after tax. So uh, through this uh, through this method of dew point analysis, we try to analyze various components of return on equity. And these components are the net profit margin, asset turnover, and financial leverage. So let's see further. As I said, return on equity is together, we can divide it into three components, that is net profit margin. Um, multiplying it with asset turnover and financial leverage, we get total of return on equity. So net profit margin, it has its formula called net profit divided by sales into 100. Asset turnover is sales divided by total assets and financial leverage is total assets divided by total equity. So let's understand this was actually the formula how you calculate it, how uh, return on equity is calculated. Simply you can also do like uh, net profit divided by total equity but here because that is the basic formula for calculating return on equity but here because we are doing this dew point analysis we want to analyze all the three components which is related to return on equity. So we have further categorized it into three, these three parts. And now let's understand these three uh, primary ratios used. What does this indicates? So net profit margin shows the profit earned over the total sales done. So how much sales the company has did and how much profit has been company able to generate out of sales. So this is not necessary that every time the company or business is making sales, they are going into profit. It's not so how the profit is increasing over the time in accordance with the sales, the increase in sales or the decrease in sales. This is what we can analyze through this ratio called net profit margin. So it also indicates the company's capacity of turning profit out of sales. Second one was asset turnover. It simply indicates the company's efficiency in utilizing its assets to make production and generate revenue. Here you can take either fixed assets or total assets. So how the company is being efficient enough in utilizing its asset, whether all the assets being used in the company is able to do the production properly and what is the being resultant revenue out of that production. This is indicated through asset turnover ratio. And then there was financial leverage, which indicates how funds has been raised through equity, uh, which is used in building assets for the business. So the funds raised through equity, how those funds has been utilized for the business, what all assets are created out of those funds. So these three together makes the ratio which we referred as the return on equity, which holds the interest of ultimate objective of any business to increase the earning for shareholders. So uh, this was the whole about uh, dew point analysis, how this is done and what are the components. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching. Do like and share my video. Subscribe to my channel, Dave Tech Finance. Thank you.